This is Ren Alcantara, Editor-at-Large at Gadgets Magazine. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gadgets TV. We're here to deliver the most relevant topics in tech, lifestyle, and motoring so you can stay up to date with the latest news all in one place. First off, let's take a look at the world of tech in Circuit Break. In tech news, Epson is the number one ink tank vendor in the Philippines and Southeast Asia, according to global market intelligence provider IDC. Epson maintained its ink tank market leadership in 2019 with a 68% market share in Southeast Asia. The latest findings from IDC indicate that Epson continues to dominate the Philippine market as the number one ink tank vendor with a remarkable 74% share recorded in 2019. Inktap printers gained a stronger hold in Southeast Asia with an increasing contribution ratio of 49% compared to other technologies like ink cartridges and laser, according to the same IDC report. Epson's Ecotac printers are available at Epson's authorized dealer stores nationwide and online via Lazada. In other news, HMD Global, the home of Nokia phones, is acquiring the assets of Valona Labs and launching a brand new center of excellence in Tampere, Finland. Combining HMD Global's commitment to deliver secure, reliable, and dependable mobile experiences with Valona Labs' expertise in mobile enterprise and cybersecurity software, the acquisition will further build upon the company's reputation as a global leader in smartphone software updates and security. The new center of excellence in Tampere will specialize in software, security, and services, propelling HMD Global's transition from a purely hardware business to a combined hardware and services company diversifying its intellectual property and differentiating its unique go-to-market offering. In other tech news, Smart Padala by Paymaya agents in selected areas around the country are now equipped with QR codes for faster and safer contactless ways to encash funds for the beneficiaries of the second tranche of the Department of Welfare and Development's Social Amelioration Program. Paymaya has been tapped by the DSWD to distribute the financial aid, which ranges from 5,000 to 8,000 pesos, depending on the beneficiary's location through the PayMaya accounts of the recipients in Metro Manila, Cordillera Administrative Region, Region 3, Region 4A, and Region 7, among others. In these areas, Smart Padala by PayMaya agents in the neighborhood communities will serve as encashment touchpoints for individuals and families severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic identified as SAP beneficiaries. With over 30,000 partner agent touchpoints nationwide, Smart Padala has the most extensive domestic remittance network in the country. Aside from the disbursement of the SAP financial aid, Paymaya has also been working with the DSWD in distributing funds to beneficiaries of its assistance to individuals in crisis situations program. Now let's take a pit stop and see what's going on in the world of mobility. As part of IPC's response to the global pandemic, Isuzu Philippines Corporation launched its Isuzu Kasama Mo campaign last June 1 and made its initial donation of medical personal protection equipment to its partner institutions on July 10. In a simple turnover ceremony held at the IPC headquarters in Binyan, Laguna, representatives of the partner organizations, namely the Philippine Coast Guard, the Philippine Red Cross, and Caritas Manila, received the PPE sets from IPC executives on behalf of its customers. The PPE sets will be used by the partners' brave and devoted frontliners who continue to risk their lives for their fellow citizens. The campaign, which actively promotes the value of sharing and caring, gives an opportunity to Isuzu customers to support frontliners in every Isuzu vehicle they purchase. In other motoring news, Mazda Philippines celebrates the all-new Mazda 3's recognition by the World Car Awards as the 2020 World Car Design of the Year awardee with the introduction of a new trim package that enhances both its design and desirability. The Mazda 3 Edition 100 features colorway and detail enhancements that accentuate the dynamic form of the Mazda 3 Sportback Premium. The 2020 Mazda 3 is Mazda's first new generation model to realize a more mature, evolved Kodo or Soul of Motion design philosophy. For the Mazda 3 Edition 100, original equipment Mazda Speed body kits have been color matched with the three key body colors of the Mazda 3 Sportback Premium to make a more distinctive and desirable option. Additional changes include high gloss midnight black 18 inch wheels and standout red brake calipers. The complete Mazda 3 Edition 100 package adds 100,000 pesos to the 1.51 million SRP of the 2.0 liter Mazda 3 Sportback Premium. Customers may inquire with Mazda sales consultants from Mazda's 20 dealerships across the country. That's it for Motoring News. Let's see what's going on in the lifestyle world. 
in Lifestyle News. To help local tech startups adapt to the changes and thrive in these times, Google calls all Filipino entrepreneurs and business innovators to join Google for Startups Accelerator Southeast Asia. The three-month-long online accelerator program will run from August 11 to November 12, 2020, gathering tech startups from all over Southeast Asia, including the Philippines. These are the enterprises looking to develop tech-driven solutions for the challenges the public faces today, especially in healthcare, education, finance, and logistics. Applications are currently ongoing and will remain open until July 19. Successful applicants will be paired with relevant experts from Google and the industry to discuss the challenges their startups are facing and find possible solutions for their businesses. Participants will receive deep mentorship on both business and technical topics, as well as specialized support from Google's mentor network and access to Google's AI, ML Cloud, Android, and web experts. In addition to the mentorship and technical support, the program will also offer training and workshops focused on product design, customer acquisition, and leadership development for business founders. Microfinancial services giant Cebuana Lulier has made it possible for its clients to send money from the comfort of their own homes. The Remit from Home service allows clients to send money without having to leave their homes to go to a Cebuana Lulier branch. Instead, they can do the transaction online with the help of Cebuana Lulier agents. The service is no different from the branch transaction and carries the same safe and secure money transfer Cebuana Luillier is known for. Clients can access the Remit From Home service by logging onto remitfromhome.cebuanaluillier.com and accessing the electronic form for remittance or via the eCebuana app through Instapay. That's it for this week's installment of Gadgets Magazine TV, your regular rundown of the latest news and features in the world of tech, lifestyle, and motoring. Catch us online on Facebook, YouTube, and the Gadgets Magazine website, and see you next time.